In this tutorial I will show you how to make this crochet cup holder or cup sleeve using cloth yarn. You can use it for your drinks like coffee, milk tea and more. With this you can now hold your drinks hot or cold in more convenient way. And your hands without getting wet when having cold drinks. Materials needed. First, let's make slip knot. I'll be using half double crochet foundation instead of chains. After the slip knot, chain 3. Yarn over, then insert hook to the first chain and pull out a loop. Now we have a total of 3 loops into the hook. Yarn over, pull through loop. Yarn over, pull through 3 loops. Now we are done with our first HDC foundation. Yarn over, then insert hook to chain and pull out a loop. This one will serve as our foundation chain, where we will insert hook. Yarn over, pull through loop. Yarn over, pull through three loops. Repeat steps. Yarn over. Insert hook to chain, pull out a loop. Yarn over, pull through loop. Yarn over, pull through 3 loops. I will do it for more times for you to be familiarized with our HDC foundation. Continue until we have 17 HDC foundation. This is the first three chain we made, then followed by HDC foundation. One, two, three. Sixteen and 17th HDC foundation. After completing the half double crochet foundation, we will now connect both ends. We 
We will insert our hook into this first V stitch to make slip stitch. To begin our second row, chain 2. After chaining 2, we will do one half double crochet HDC in each E stitches all the way around. At the end of this row we will have a total of 2 chain plus 17 HDC. Babe time break. Don't worry about this tail because we will hide it later. Continue doing HDC. If you are enjoying this tutorial, please don't forget to like and subscribe for more crochet tutorials like this. We are now at the end of our second row. A total of 2 chains plus 17 HDC. Insert hook in between the two chains and the first HDC to make slip stitch.
After the slip stitch, we will repeat steps from row 2 until we have a total of 6 rows. Chain 2, then 1 HDC in each following stitches. We are now at the end of row 3. Slip stitch to finish row 3. Start 4th row by chaining 2. Then 1 HDC in each following V stitches. Total of 17 HDC. Now we're at the end of 6th row. Slip stitch to complete the 6th row. Now we will make the handle. This will be the bottom of our cup holder. To begin, chain one. Then do one single crochet to the first and second stitches. Chain 1. Turn your work. Repeat steps until total of 12 rows. Now we finished 12 rows of single crochet for our handle, connected to bottom part.
will carry over this tail as we will be making single crochet later. Insert hook to the second chain from the tail. This is to connect the handle to the upper part of our cup holder. Chain 1 Insert hook to the same chain and to the first stitch of our handle. And do single crochet. Insert hook into the next chain and next stitch of handle. Then single crochet. Continue doing single crochet to the next chains and carry over the tail we have a while ago. We will have a total of 18 single crochet, including the first two connecting the handle. After the last single crochet, pull through your yarn and cut. After this, we will stretch our work. Now grab your yarn needle and insert the excess yarn we have. Insert needle to this first V stitch. We will now create another V to complete our work. Hide excess yarn by inserting needle to any of the stitches.
are now done with our cup sleeve cup holder. Always stretch your cup holder before putting a cup. Thank you for watching.